For WTSA News and for Brattleboro Community Television on this Friday, June 17th, my name is Ian Kelly. These are the stories we're following at this hour. A Springfield, Massachusetts truck driver has died from injuries he received in an accident on Interstate 91 in Dummerston on Wednesday afternoon. Vermont State Police say 38-year-old Paul DeLude was taken by ambulance to Brattleboro Memorial Hospital, where he was then flown by DART helicopter to Dartmouth-Hitchcock Medical Center. Investigation into the crash revealed the rig was traveling northbound on I-91 and left the traveled portion of the roadway. Investigation into the crash remains ongoing. The interstate was closed while crews were on the scene. A missing Vermont man has been found after, and he's been found alive after three days of searching. Thursday afternoon, police said Donald Gurney, 65, from Springfield, Vermont, was found in Cavendish. Search crews found Gurney in the woods near Knapp Pond at 3.30 in the afternoon, about one and a half miles away from where they found his truck. Vermont State Police say Gurney was dehydrated but otherwise appeared to be in fair condition. Crews carried Gurney out of the woods and he was sent to Springfield Hospital to get checked out. Average gasoline prices have risen to a new record in the U.S., but weekly increases have slowed. Vermont gas prices are averaging $5.04 today. That's up two cents from last week, according to the national analyst Gas Buddy. The U.S. average is $5.01. That's up three cents. The highest prices in Vermont are found in Brattleboro at $5.29 a gallon, and Arlington, Waitsfield, and Richmond at $5.19 a gallon. Another graduation weekend is here. Last night, Bellows Falls Union High School graduated its class of 2022. This evening, Brattleboro Union High School will graduate its latest class. The ceremony is at 6.30. It's scheduled for Natowich Field, and it is also airing live on Brattleboro Community Television. The Vermont Agency of Transportation says the Amtrak Ethan Allen Express train will begin expanded passenger rail service to Burlington, Virgins, and Middlebury on July 29th. Governor Scott says the new service will benefit Vermonters in countless ways, all while helping to grow our economy. WTSA Sports. A tremendous season comes to a turnover-filled ending for the Boston Celtics last night as they lose Game 6 and the NBA Championship to Golden State, 103-90. It was only the second time in Boston's franchise history where they lost a championship on their home floor, the first being in 1985, to the Los Angeles Lakers. Steph Curry was named series MVP. The Red Sox lose to Oakland yesterday afternoon, 4-3. The Sox host the St. Louis Cardinals tonight. Michael Waka on the mound for Boston, first pitch at 7-10. Anthony Rizzo hit a home run for the Yankees as they beat Tampa Bay 2-1. Tonight, New York visits Toronto. Jordan Montgomery on the mound, first pitch at 7-05. For WTSA News and for Brattleboro Community Television on this Friday, June 17th, have a safe and tremendous weekend, everybody. My name is Ian Kelly.